And in Pasco County here, the start of the new year also means opening a new school. Eric Waxler takes you there. While there are plenty of challenges in Pasco County on the first day of school, they are celebrating here also the opening of a new school that is unlike any other. Students started arriving before the sun rose. One more picture with mom, a kiss goodbye, and it's time to start a new year in a brand new school. Have a wonderful first day. Make sure you head on over to your first period class. It just feels like magical. You know, it feels like you're excited to learn and you're in a place where you know everybody is here to learn. Kirkland Ranch Academy of Innovation in Wesley Chapel has an impressive open campus and a lot to offer for students like Sarah Streeter, who is in the biomedical program here. No other school offers programs like this that I've seen, especially as a school that you can apply to without having to go to a private school. World history, you're going to go up, up these stairs right here. Kirkland is starting its first year with just ninth and 10th graders. Students will be able to get certified in one of 10 programs, including welding, robotics and automotive repair. Kids need to have those type of opportunities and uh, and we have been able to provide that for East Pasco. Elsewhere in Pasco County, a disruptive start at Rushi Middle School in Lando Lakes. All students were evacuated temporarily as the sheriff's office investigated a bomb threat that turned out to be a hoax. The district, like many others in Florida, is dealing with a teacher shortage and a lack of bus drivers. There are about 55 open bus driver positions right now, enough to keep the transportation call center very busy. It will be open through next week for parents to call with any issues involving buses. The district is also tightening up its penalties when it comes to disciplinary issues. That includes expulsion. They're trying to curb some of the excessive fighting that's been going on around the district in recent years. In Wesley Chapel, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.